The Astro system, designed and built by the company of Ibers, had its development completed in the early 80s, seeking to serve the Brazilian armed forces and also the export market, especially in the Middle East. The name Astros is an acronym that stands for Saturation Artillery Rocket System, and which already indicates the main function of this system. A typical battery of the Astro system is formed by a command and control vehicle, called AVPCC, a fire control vehicle, equipped with a radar that tracks and calculates the trajectory of the rockets, and which is called AVUCF, a workshop vehicle, called AVOF, a weather station vehicle, called AVMET, up to six launch vehicles, called AVLMU, in addition to missile and rocket reloading vehicles, called AVRMD. All battery vehicles feature light armor and a machine gun for self-protection, and can be transported by C-130 Hercules aircraft. Priority targets for Astro systems are military formations such as tank columns and field troops, as well as enemy economic and military infrastructure such as air bases and industrial facilities. For this, the system uses a wide variety of ammunition and can be configured in different ways. They are the SS-30 rocket. This rocket has a diameter of 127 millimeters, weighs about 66 kilograms, is about 3 meters long and has a 20 kilogram warhead. The minimum range is approximately 9 kilometers and the maximum is 39 kilometers. 32 SS-30 rockets can be carried per launch vehicle or a total of up to 192 rockets in a battery. The SS-40 this rocket is 180 mm in diameter, weighs about 150 kg, is 4.2 meters long and carries a warhead formed by 20 submunitions of 70 mm each with anti-personnel and anti-armor capacity. The minimum range is 16 km and the maximum is 33 km. 16 SS-40 rockets can be carried per launch vehicle, or a total of 96 in a battery. The SS-60 this rocket is 300 mm in diameter, weighs about 576 kg, is 5.4 meters long and carries a warhead made up of 65 anti-personnel and anti-armor 70 mm rounds. The minimum range is 23 km and the maximum is about 70 km. For SS-60 rockets can be carried per launch vehicle, or a total of 24 in a battery. The SS-80 this rocket is also 300 mm in diameter and carries a warhead made up of 52 70 mm submunitions. Its minimum range is 25 km and the maximum is 90 km. Four SS-80 rockets can be carried per launch vehicle or a total of 24 in a battery. Avibras is developing three new munitions. The first is a GPS-guided rocket with a range of 40 km, called the SS-40G. The second is a new rocket with a range of 150 km, called the SS-150. And the third is a cruise missile guided by GPS and with a range of 300 km for the export versions, called MTC-300. The MTC-300 missile will be able to be carried in up to 2 units per launch vehicle or in up to 12 units in a battery. The Astro system provides Brazil and other operators with great deterrent power against ground forces, especially due to its range, flexibility of use and the mass of fire launched on the enemy in a short period of time. A vehicle equipped with SS-30 rockets can launch all 32 units in about 16 seconds. A battery in this configuration would launch 192 rockets at the same time. Considering the 20 kg warhead of each rocket, this means that an Astro's battery equipped with SS-30 rockets would be capable of dropping 3,800 kg of military payload on the enemy in about 16 seconds, covering a gigantic area and inflicting heavy losses. This example shows why the destruction of the Iraqi Astro systems was one of the U.S. priorities in the Gulf War. The Astro system represents one of the biggest successes of the Brazilian defense industry. It was exported to countries such as Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Angola, Bahrain, Qatar, Libya, Malaysia and Indonesia, and saw combat in several of these countries.
With the introduction of new guided munitions, especially cruise missiles, it should become an even more powerful and lethal weapon.